Hi, this is Michael Schwanzer of Sightdice, and today on behalf of Chicago Electronic Distributor, I would like to show you how to use an M12 lens on a Raspberry Pi high quality camera. So what you see here in front of me, on my screen I have the awesome um, official Raspberry Pi camera guide that we will post a link for as well that you can download as a PDF or buy a hard copy of. Um, there is all the information in there that you need. Also you see like there is a M12 lens in front of me, an adapter, a Raspberry Pi 3A plus and all of this is happening on a anti-static mat so that we are not by accident hurting our electronics. Um, there's also a quarter 20 mount here because the Raspberry Pi HQ camera uh, comes with a very handy inbuilt quarter 20 nut so we can then when we get to focusing this uh, this lens we have an easy rig um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up the camera plug it into the Raspberry Pi I am assuming that you know how to set up an SD card with uh, an operating system that has Raspi still installed so you can uh, then easily SSH, SSH into it if you connect it to your network or uh, you just plug in a screen and a keyboard and use it like that. So that's the Raspberry Pi HQ camera. Uh, in this case here the blue side when the contacts are not uh, is going on the same side as the audio jack is um, but you can look there and you will see where the where in the in the guide as well how to do that um, there's a lens cap to protect I would recommend not taking that off until the very end until you're done and, and you know so that there's least risk of getting dust in there there's also the, the C to CS adapter in our case, we take that out because we have an adapter to go to M12. Um, we're careful here to not get any dirt in there. Screw the adapter. And be careful always when you screw these lens things that there shouldn't be any, um, like, you got to be very accurate, screwing straight, because otherwise you could uh, wear the threads out and uh, make it unusable. So in that package of the Raspberry uh, HQ camera is a tiny little screwdriver and that's needed to release the lock nut there, uh, the lock screw on the back focus. So after I loosened that screw a bit, I can release the back focus. And I'm doing this here now, I like to bring it out a little bit. So, cause later when we glue the um, M12 lens in place, we want to have a bit of room to go back and forth after the glue dries um, in case there's a little bit of movement still so we can go back and forth and not like when uh, it ships the Raspberry Pi Q camera the back focus all the way in the back so you want to bring it out a little bit uh, so that you can go back and forth um, so as you can see I'm bringing it onto the my little rig here for focusing um, Here's the M12 lens. M12 lenses are awesome. They're available in such a wide range of um, field of view uh, degrees. So you can get basically anything up to a full fisheye with 360 view um, readily available. So um, so to get access now to the Raspberry Pi, I already mentioned you can either if you have a Wi-Fi setup or a network setup, then you can SSH in. Um, I have my own little remote web-based, uh, web browser-based uh, um, viewfinder built in here, but uh, Raspi still minus T uh, zero just gives you like when you SSH in um, a preview anyway that's real time, so that works really well too. So it's just whatever you have available here. Um, So just gonna see here, you know, bring the back focus a little bit now and, and something you have to watch out for, like never screw the M12 in too far. So it would actually like uh, get 
all the way back to the imaging sensor. You gotta be careful about that. Don't put it too far in. Um, but a little bit to start and we will see as soon as I bring on the screen, it's very blurry here. And so we just have to keep going now, like rotation after rotation, bring it to where it's focused. We're seeing here in my case, I'm looking out of my garage uh, door. So I have like things very close, things very far. This is a 90 degree um, lens here. So it's not too wide. And I'm trying to get basically everything in focus here. And you know, as far as the brick on the house over there, like I wanna have that sharp. Um, so keep going and if you go too far, it gets blurry again. So then you bring it back out and then eventually you'll find the perfect spot. I always recommend like if you can focus it where your subject matter is, like what, what you actually wanna do. It's, it's hard to you know focus here with different light and inside, outside, and then it would go somewhere completely else. Um, so if you can like focus it at uh, the place where it will actually capture. And after, you know, now that I found a good spot, I put some hot glue there, uh, but, you know, uh, Loctite or other glues it will work as well as long as there's no off gassing. And when they get, um, when they cure overnight, then, you know, I do this process again and, and make sure that like it didn't move a bit. Make sure that it's also uh, straight that the, ang the M12 doesn't sit on an angle um, so that when it cures, it doesn't, uh, push it one way or the other. Lots of different lenses out there on M12, as I mentioned. I hope you enjoy uh, taking photos and videos with this. It's so easy now with this um, Raspberry Pi HQ camera. Good luck. Take care.